you know, obviously Piotti's still there and, and Evan Bush, but, you know, a lot of those guys that are playing, playing big minutes for them are, are different than from when I was there. So even though it is playing against an old team, it feels like you're playing against a totally new team, new coaching staff too. So, uh, you know, there's not too much familiarity there for me. You got a first-hand look at Piotti. Yeah. What, uh, what makes him such a difficult opponent? I mean, he's so good 1v1. He's kind of, he's, you know, he's that guy where even if you get a little poke on the ball, somehow the ball ends up back at his foot and he's running full speed and you know he's just as fast with the ball as without it and I think you know once he gets guys retreating and especially into the box I think you know guys are a little bit hesitant you know maybe not wanting to give a penalty so I think you know he's able to make that one cut and, and finish so well that uh, he, he's really really tough to stop. It's fair to say a guy like that team like that a little offense helps in terms of playing defense the more possession you have the more yeah. shots you can get. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, for them, you know, especially with, with guys like Piatti, I think, you know, they're always going to be dangerous on the break. And I think, you know, when they're, you know, even when we are possessing the ball and, and dictating tempo, which, you know, we should at home, I think that's our goal, especially at playing at home. But, you know, we got to be aware of where those guys are because, you know, they can they can strike quick and, and fast. You guys feeling any sense in terms of what's your third game? Yeah. Uh, What's your takeaway in the first couple of games and that we just left those behind? Anymore? Yeah, it's been tough because, you know, you try to prioritize every game, but I think for us, you know, Champions League was, you know, you don't get to play it every year. So I think for us that was kind of, you know, not to say we didn't focus on the league games, but I think, you know, for us our priority was was doing well in Champions League and trying to win that. And I think now having to, you know, being able to decompress for a couple of weeks, you know, it's nice to be able to focus on league games again and having these couple of weeks to prepare, um, you know, I think will, will help us and do us a lot of good going into the Montreal game. No moral victories, but was there some lessons learned about who you guys are, what you were doing the Champions League there? Yeah, I think it was disappointing. I think we felt like we were talented enough to, to make it to the final and potentially win. So I think, you know, for us losing, going down there and losing 3-0, it was, you know, there, there's not a lot of moral victories when you when you get outplayed like we did down there. But, you know, I think for us it's kind of, you know, energize guys to refocus and, and really make a, you know, a good push in these next few games. Is it good to kind of restart things? I mean, we yeah. talked to you last in Mexico, and yeah. it was a downer. Is it kind of just to reset and play in front of the home crowd on Saturday? Yeah, I think, you know, we got guys gone with national team and stuff this week, but I think the guys that have been here, you know, there's been a good focus and sharpness and training, and I think, you know, almost to get away for a couple of days, we had a couple of days off, it, it helps guys refocus, and, you know, coming back, I think there's a lot we could do better, especially if you look at our two, our two uh, league games so far, so I think, you know, for us, we're kind of, you know, working on those little details, and, and guys have done a good job at focusing on those. What did you do to get away the last couple of days, can you? I mean, I was here yesterday, so I didn't really <laughs> get away too much. What did you, it, where, where did you go? I mean, did you go to the movies? You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, no, just this. just relax, you know, try to play golf. Played golf wow. one day last week, so I think for me that's my way of relaxing. <laughs> that's relaxing. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, there's yeah. obviously a new face here in training. What have you seen or, or experienced with Diego Capel kind of out there? Yeah, he's been good so far. Um, you know, we haven't had a ton of game situations, so I think, you know, the couple of days he's played, he's done well, and he's... He's obviously technically good and, and good running at guys, so it'll be it'll be nice to see in the next few days how he shows.